Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. This video was done in collaboration with another locksmith in a different state of Australia. We're all seeing the same thing and we're all kind of getting the shits with this. So this video is just uh, how to outline and how to find and how to basically identify these people who are doing this same old $45 scam. Hi, just to type in Brisbane locksmiths. Now, the thing that you've got to look for with a bit of this scamming is if the number doesn't look right, like you can see down here, this number doesn't look right. The other thing is is that if you see a .com uh, locksmith website, be careful because it's an American website. Now I can just look at this website, I've just typed it in, it's just the kind of the first one off the rank, uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, it says qualified, highly qualified. Um, so that's what this person's presenting, highly qualified. Okay. Well, I've been a locksmith for, you know, 25 years now. This is my 25th year and licensed locksmith. Well, it might be licensed, might not be. So if you are a licensed locksmith, generally speaking, you're going to have the license number um, somewhere within the website. Um, the other thing that you need to look for is, does it look a little bit shonky? This URL is locksmithsbrisbane.com.au. This might be a call center um, thing that they do over in the States, like, uh, for example, when I hooked up electricity to my house in the States, um, I went to the local supplier and all of a sudden I'm getting alarm, I'm getting people calling to install alarm, carpet people, the name, you name it, they were calling. And it was a brand new number. Um, so here we have like an image, you know, and the other thing is like, <coughs> like when I'm looking at this here, I'm seeing a very quick website. You know, it's there's nothing to it. This website we've got a few photos, number. I don't know where that is. You know, but uh, okay, that's that will be a VoIP number. Um, so okay, so you've got a contact thing, some lockout, change locks, g some generic photos. That's fine. Um, let's have a look. Uh, and um, insured, license, blah 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 some Google. I, I, actually, you know what, I might just open up these and see what we actually get from um, these links here. So here we've got some testimonials. Um, yeah, sure, they're real. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. Um, from a blog, Locksmith Stages of Hill, Springwood, Wynnum, blah blah blah. And some dates there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, here's the alarming bit here. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. It really doesn't matter. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, as probably most of us do. And if you, let's just take America, for example, because this is coming from America and probably coming from another country through America to Australia situation. So if you look at that $45 service call. Now, you know, back in the day when I was an apprentice, my boss wasn't charging $45 as a service call. Yeah, and that's a long time ago. Uh, house lockouts, $45. Bedroom lockouts, $45. If, as a locksmith, you charge $45 in 2019, August, nearly the 1st of September 2019, you will not be in business um, because the van, the fuel, uh, my, my van's very heavy on fuel because of the amount of gear that we need to carry in there. Um, insurance, um, licensing, um, you know, like the list just goes on and on. Everybody's got their hand out um, when it comes to uh, businesses, you know, all the things that you need. If you expect to get your car unlocked for $45, no, it's not happening. Um, if you go to America, their standard rate is, you know, about $100. It's basically everywhere is about $100, whether you're talking US or you're talking Australian. You know, a qualified locksmith, one that has actually done their four-year apprenticeship and has done their trade and has got the license and put up with, you know, all kinds of rubbish that happens in the trade with bosses and, you know, as a typical apprentice, you know, that's normal. It's a weeding out of who's going to stay and who's not. Um, these prices are not true. Absolutely not true. Um, car keys made, $180. Um, yeah, look, 
you know, that, that seems pretty reasonable. I'm one of the cheapest locksmiths in Brisbane, and I will make keys to a Ford Falcon $480. I'll give you one key. So that sounds okay. Uh, transponder keys 250 Key extraction, $75. We're getting a little bit more realistic here on the automotive stuff. But all this other stuff here, this is all rubbish. There is some kind of catch, some kind of clause. It can't. It's not right. Um, prices, quotes, uh, the minimums. <laughs> Okay, so here, here we're reading the fine print radio. Now, if you're calling a locksmith, a locksmith who is a professional will tell you straight away how much the service call is. Let's say, for example, I get calls every day, all day. Um, how much does it cost to uh, change the keys? I've lost my keys. I need to change my front door uh, locks. I say, no problems. The service call $66 to come out, and it's $11 a barrel and I leave it like that and I basically explain to people that it's $11 a barrel so if you have a handle lock where you put the key in from one side it's $11 if you have a deadlock where you put the key in from the front and the back it's $22 because there's two barrels upfront pricing there's there's no uh, hidden costs there's no trick you there's no none of this it's just straight up that is the price that's how much it is um, important note unforeseen un foreseenable complications. Now, if you're a locksmith, you don't have unforeseen complications. That is just not part of our trade. If you are a professional, like in the UK, um, I've worked with a UK locksmith, I've, I've rung um, London uh, for uh, um, uh, to check up on something. In different parts of the world, yes, there are complications because they're not trained up enough um, and you do get complications and complications means this is unforeseen complications this means I need to get more money out of you that's what this means it's absolute rubbish this is this is where it is there this is where they try and get you now anyhow let's let's now look at um, find a locksmith near you oh my god look at these dots here oh my god no 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 I, and also look at the other thing gmail account are you serious? Are you serious that if you can design a website or any decent, not even decent, any, anybody will always give you a locksmith's um, address with your URL. So this one is locksmithsbrisbane.com.au. This is clearly an overseas scamming. Something is going on here uh, where they're negotiating with a local locksmith and it's a call centre and they ring that one, you're not available. They ring the next locksmith and they're somehow billing or, or doing something. I should actually ring up and find out. Now, the other thing that gives it away here is you know, 24 hours, 7 days, um, 24 hours, 265 days a, a, a year, right? Now, I can guarantee... Now, let's just do let's just find out let's just open up a new web browser and i'm going to type into google who is <coughs> all right who is let's put the domain name there okay that's the one that i've just picked and let's see what happens when it comes up and says who this belongs to go daddy oh my god you know oh my god really okay neil young organization 24 7 locksmiths okay let's copy that Okay, let's look for an ABN. Now this, because it is a .com.au, it should have an ABN because that's the only way you can get it. So let's have a look at, look up ABN. Okay. Okay, currently not registered for GST. Look at that. Look at the postcode. That's a Sydney postcode. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, um, that actually, that's somewhere around Marsfield in Sydney. So, last updated on that date. Okay, let's just have a quick look. Let's just open up another tab and see where that is. Let's type in um, New South Wales Security license check so we should be coming up with New South Wales Police services yep <coughs> oh okay sorry about that um, uh, check online okay to change this around a bit 
Okay, so let's go back and let's copy that. Copy. Let's throw that into there. Okay, it might be backwards, but it should pick it up. Okay, not found. Um, let's put it in as... Um, so it's normally the last name first. So let's just see if anybody in New South Wales has got security license with that name. No. Okay, so let's um, let's go to let's go to the register of this business, Neil Young. Throw that in there. Okay, so it is actually that way. So I will go back and and change that again. Okay, so Neil Lindsay Young does have a security license. If that is so, that's Young Security. That's not. Um, this business name here with that ABN so that might actually be a different person Neil Lindsay Young okay let's go back uh, so license name trading name okay let's try the trading name so we know that it is 24 7 so we'll copy and paste that and we'll throw that into there. Okay, so that is not the same person. 24-7 locksmiths. Uh, MA is self-employed, which means that his master's license only consists of him and him only. So this is not, uh, obviously, this person here. So there is, that's his trading name, 24-7 locksmiths. So let's just have a look and throw that back into um let's have a look at historical on abn so according to that it's current sole trader no gst okay so this is where it gets confusing that's the person who's registered the business so that business and that abn belongs to this website here um how else can we find out if this is legit so far we are not getting anything um, so let's just go let's go Amir and see so these are also security guards as well so depending on the category of license it can be that's why we're getting a few of them um, Well, it should be coming up with the last name. So, let's have a look. I'm not going to go through hundreds of names. No data found, okay? All right. So, seeing that there's a New South Wales, let's type into Google um, QLD security license check. Let's see if we can get a hit on either of those two names. Uh, search register so this is Queensland um, we won't worry about the sector uh, license number we don't know what the license number is let's put in the last name um, okay so last name search nothing okay let's go back to um, Neil Young so hopefully it will get a hit here. Nothing. All right, so here we go. We've got nothing in Queensland. License number, business name. Uh, let's have a look. Let's clear that. So let's go for uh, ABN, sorry. ABN. So we've got... Can't copy and paste it. Okay. Let's just go for 24 7 locksmith. Let's check Queensland. Nothing under that. Um, Neil Young is a pretty common name. Lindsay. Else we've got Lindsay Young. Okay. 
Okay, so this is so a security guard, an arm guard, a B installer. See how it's category B? So that's just something you just tick on your license. So he needs to have a 2C license. So this is a security guard who has done a security risk management course, who is an armed guard and that. So that is not a locksmith. So that one, that's all we've got there. So Neil Lindsay Young, Neil Lindsay Young, that's expired. Um, so let's have a look at this, Young Security. So Young Security, um, between one and four people. So that's actually Young Security. So that is not the same. And Young Security should actually show up. Um, anyhow, that's not the same person anyhow. So it doesn't really matter. So basically it's a free-for-all and whichever way you look at this, um, who is Neil Young? You know, like you can just register that. Um, Neil Young is a registered contact. No business in Bondi. This is a, it's a scam. So that's just an example. So that's just from one one website, this website here, and just going who is. So let's just scroll through a little bit more and see if we can find anything else. Prices. Okay, generic photos, blah, blah, blah. Okay, nothing. Licensed and bonded. As soon as you see the word bonded, you know that that is an American website because we don't have any bonds here in Australia, ever. Um, that's where you put down a certain amount of money and and this and that. Where if you're licensed, where's your license number? I think I might give these people a call. You know that? I think all my calls are recorded too. I will splice that into the video. Okay, that's just coming up there. What else have we got? Locks changed. So the other thing is, with New South Wales, if you are a business, you need to have a master's licence, period. Whether you've got one employee, a single a sole trader, or you've got a hundred, makes no difference. In Queensland, if you are a sole trader, you can trade under your own security licence, which is fine, as long as basically you tell people you're a sole trader. Um, you know, which obviously on my website, of course, I've got my license number everywhere. People can just type it into Google, I pop up everywhere. Um, if you're a business that is providing any security services, like this website here is obviously some kind of business that's doing that, you then need a different category of license. It's called a firm's license up here in Queensland. So, so far I can't find anything. So we have to... Yeah, where is it? There's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's what we've got, nothing. Spam. Blog. Let's see. Oh my god. No wonder people get scammed. Yeah, the, these, you know, like for the average person, they look at this and they go, oh yeah, that seems, that seems alright. Okay, what have we got here? Are these links? No, they're not links. That's a link. Oh, oh, we have a link to 2247locksmithsmelbourne.com.au. Oh, okay, but it goes nowhere. No idea. So if I just flick on there, you see the bottom of the screen. Safe opening. Oh, jeez. Definitely need a firm's license for that one, don't you? Okay, so that's the end of the video. Unfortunately, I don't have the call to splice in with it, and I would have been nice. 
but we've gone over a lot of uh, things and a lot of ways of how you can actually find out if you've got a scammer in your area and it is good if we all start investigating and looking around to see who these scammers are and bring them to um, bring them to the attention of either the security industry registry um, ATO or uh, some of the other ABM ones because obviously they're using fake ABN so I'd just like to say also that the new young person is a legitimate person and most likely has nothing to do with these people using his name and also the 24-7 um, person there who is legitimately registered probably has nothing to do with any of this shoddy business from this $45 website but it's funny how we look up the details and we're finding all these mixed messages and, and um, redirects and no clear cut information and it looks like basically it's all it's all fake it's uh, fake names fake this use somebody else's ABN that's what it looks like anyway on screen is just uh, when I did Locksmith Sydney this is what you're all seeing now in your local area so if you're in Melbourne Brisbane uh, Northern Territory you're probably seeing this same rubbish and in the last bit of the video there you could clearly see that they're all actually link linking together now at the moment they don't have organic rank which means they're not going to pop up and they can't turn up on the maps because they can't get there so the only thing they have is a platform called Google AdWords where they can't be reviewed so they basically go out there rip customers off and the customers can't leave a review so you see those two up the top a lot of the time they take first and second position and I think the only way we're going to combat this and get rid of these people is by one bringing them to the security industry registry and asking them to take action or the other way is that if we keep investigating them it costs a lot of money to be up the top there and if you're not happy with them then maybe the rest of us aren't happy and if we work together as a locksmith community these people are not going to last at that top position and keep ripping our customers off and giving locksmiths a bad name so we have to work together in this whether it's as simple as writing a letter whether it's as simple as just checking out their web page once a day whatever you want to do but we've shown you a lot of tricks and tools on how to how to identify the websites for what they are and it's nothing more than a scam and spam okay leave your comments down below thanks for watching